Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial, I will show you how to export the mesh from RealFlow to 3ds Max. This is a really simple method, however after searching a lot, I could not find any useful information about it online, hence I decided to create this tutorial as some of you might be struggling as well. The first thing that you might want to do is create a project in RealFlow. Let's quickly create a small simulation and go through some of the very basics in real flow. You can use the Alt key along with the mouse buttons to navigate around the scene. Then in the geometry section, click on vase. We are going to be pouring liquid into this vase. For that, go to the standard particles section and click on the circle. This is basically the emitter of the particles. We also want the liquid to fall downwards once it is emitted. To do that, go to Demon's section and click on Gravity. Finally, to export the liquid particles, we need to convert it into a mesh. Go to the Mesh section and click on the Particle Mesh VDB. Then right-click this Particle Mesh system in the Nodes list and choose Insert Particles Source option. Select the Particle Source here, which is the circle number 1. Now, it is very important that you go to the export section in the node parameters. Turn off the mesh sequence with .abc extension option and turn on the mesh cache option. Now, once you hit simulate, the liquid will start simulating. The software is also exporting each frame of the simulation. With the simulation completed, we don't need to do anything further in real flow and we can now switch to 3ds Max. To import the simulation mesh in 3ds Max, you will require a real flow plugin known as RF Connect for 3D Studio Max. The plugin is provided for free if you buy real flow, or you can download a trial version of the plugin right now from the real flow website. The plugin is compatible for 2020, 2021, and 2022 version of Max. Once the plugin is installed, you will see a separate option of real flow in the menu bar. Click on it and then select the Create Bin Mesh Object option. Go to the location of the Real Flow project. In the Meshes folder, select the first bin file. It will then automatically import the file sequence. As you can now see, we now have the complete simulation imported in 3D Studio Max. You can quickly apply a smooth modifier and then you are good to go. I do hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. As always, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I upload tutorials on a number of subjects regularly. So make sure to stick around for more free knowledge and help. Thank you for watching.